Alright everyone, All right. so this is my friend Hatch. Alright, and Hatch is a hedgehog. Oh, a hedgehog. I love hedgehogs. I know that Hatch definitely looks more like a porcupine. A lot of people think that first. But, <laughs> Hatch is never going to get as big as a porcupine. Yes. My my cousin Loawa has a well. She had a hedgehog, but it was brown and tan. Yeah, a lot of the hedgehogs that people are used to, they're used to see like gray ones or brown and tan ones. Patch is white, and he has that little brown random patch on his back. I'm not sure where he got All right, so. <laughs> We're going to attempt to go first. Um, All right. So, everyone, obviously, if you were looking at Patch when it came around, you can see that he kind of has, like, spikes on his back. Right? He kind of has, like, quills. Now, Patch is actually pretty cool because he can actually make his quills a little harder or a little softer, depending on what he's trying to do. All right? So, if there was a predator and they were trying to eat Patch, he would definitely make sure that all of his quills were standing up to make him look really, really prickly so that the predator didn't want to eat him. Sometimes he makes his quills a little bit softer and we're able to touch them without poking ourselves. All right, so hedgehogs get their name because if they were out and they live, were living in the wild, they like to live in these little bushes that are called hedges. And if when I come around you look at Patch's face, his nose actually kind of looks like a pig's nose and that's where they get the hog part. So he has a little piggy looking nose and he's sniffing all around my basket. So hedgehogs and other mammals, they sniff things a lot. All right? And they're trying to get a sense of maybe if there's food somewhere, maybe to try to get a sense of their new environment. I don't know why you always try to climb out of here. I don't know why. Why you're going back. All right? So, all right. So to pet Patch, if you'd like to, I want you guys to remember your petting hand. All right, now I want you to just take one finger from your pen in hand, and we're going to rub it very gently down his back. I get it. Now, yes. I already know how to pet one. Yeah? All right, well, we're going to pet him this way, just because we don't want to scare him. All right? So, if you'd like to pet Patch, that's totally cool. But definitely, don't try to poke him, all right? We're just going to do very, very slowly, very softly. Because if we poke him, he's probably going to get a little freaked out, and we don't want him to make his quills all hard again, all right? Now, I just woke Patch up, and that's why, kind of why he's a little bit more curious. Patch is nocturnal, so that means he likes to sleep during the nighttime, and, I mean, likes to sleep during the daytime and be awake during the night. But he does a very good job of waking up for our classes. We're used to very, very fluffy, fuzzy mammals. But Patch's, uh, Patch's quills definitely kind of feel like gel hair, gel spiky hair. Alright, so we're going to put Patch back on, and I'm going to take, I'm going to take out my actually fuzzy furry animals. Alright, and I'm sure a lot more people will want to pet those guys. I know you want to go back in. No. Okay, Kobe. No, no. No, Kobe, don't. All right, everyone. So this is my friend Salt. And Salt is a chinchilla. Salt is actually an albino chinchilla, which is why she's very light colored. And she has kind of red eyes. All right. So chinchillas actually have, like, the softest fur out of any animal. All right, and that's because they are covered, covered in hair. All right, chinchillas have more hair on their bodies than we have on our heads. She probably has more hair on, our, on her body than half of the people's heads in this room. All right, so <laughs> um, since chinchillas have so much hair, do you think they live uh, on like a sunny beach in Florida? Or up in the mountains where it snows? Up on the mountains where it's so 
it snows. Awesome. Good job. So they definitely live up in the mountain because since they have so much hair, they have all that hair so that they can stay nice and warm. Uh, actually, when we come around, when you pet salt, she has been losing her winter coat because it's getting a little bit warm now. So you might have some fur on your hand. If you do, just wipe it right on off. Okay? So. She won't get any bigger, right? That's the size she'll stay? Yep, this is the size that she's going right, to stay. That's my next pet. <laughs> I love it. Chinchillas are actually really, really cool. So, chinchillas actually don't take baths like we do. They don't need to use water. They don't need to use any kind of soap. Chinchillas actually take dust baths. So, we'll give her a little tray of dust, and all she does is she goes in, she rolls and rolls around, and she loves it. <laughs> she has, since she has so much hair on her body, if we tried to wash her with water, and we didn't dry her completely, some of that water would definitely get stuck in her body. Yes. I heard, uh, I, I seen an episode of Little is Pet Shop. I don't know if this is true or not, that they work themselves to keep clean. Plus, they okay. Might, lick themselves. They lick okay. themselves. Okay. She thinks what it is. Plus. They yeah. might, I've never seen her lick Plus. herself, but definitely to groom herself, since her tongue Plus. isn't super wet, um, I'm sure that that little bit of water is fine to have on her body. Oh. Chinchillas eat a lot of like vegetables, things like that. She kind of eats things that are similar to like a rabbit. So we have these little like apple sticks that we give my our chinchillas and our rabbits, and they love them. Now, if if you guys look at Salt, she's obviously being very curious right now. But sometimes you'll see her nibbling on my basket. And do you think that's because she's just so hungry she cannot wait to lunch? So chinchillas, they kind of have teeth that are similar to rabbits, so they're a little bit longer. All right, and a lot of chinchillas and rabbits and hares, what they'll do is they'll kind of chew on things to keep their teeth nice and short. Because if their teeth get too long, they're not going to be able to open their mouths to eat something. <clears throat> so she loves to chew on my basket, plus I think she gets a little bored of being in here. All right, so I am going to come around with salt, and I know a lot more of you will probably want to pet her. She's super, super soft. All right, but the same rules are going to follow as for my reptile friend. So we're just going to pet her on the back um, and not on her face. Because chinchillas actually are very good jumpers. If she got scared or something like that, she can jump like four feet in the air. Wow. And I do not want to chase oh a chinchilla today. That's not part of my plans. Okay? It's kind of similar, but no, no. she's a lot no, of No, she's not going to put it in. No! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's really soft, so pretty. Yes. Is there anything in like rodent family, the rats or the mice? Is she any kind She's a rodent, yes. Oh, she's a rodent. Yeah. She's a rodent, so you're right. Yes. She's not going to bring it in. Don't worry about it. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. are a lot bigger than ours comparatively to her head and since they're kind of more on the side of her face. Alright? So rabbits will actually eat a lot of grass in addition to all the vegetables that they like. And Penelope actually really likes bananas. So that's kind of her treat. Alright? So <coughs> rabbits and hares Obviously, we've seen them around, right? Maybe you've seen them around in the springtime, around 
around our houses, stuff mm -hmm. like that. About half of the world's population of rabbits and hares live on North America, which is actually pretty interesting. And since I said that rabbit and hares eat a lot of grass, you would only need about 10 rabbits to eat the same amount of grass that a full-grown cow eats. So they eat a lot of grass, like all day they'll nibble on it. Alright, so, rabbits and hares, you obviously know that they jump, right? A lot of us know that rabbits will jump and they'll hop. Yes. They do that because their back legs are so, so strong.